I probably know what you are thinking, how can high unemployment rates, declining stock market and having less cash in our wallet be a good thing, right? Because we like to think that in a perfect world, we would never have to endure the hardships linked with economic downturns like lost jobs, watching our investing account dwindle or worrying about how we are going to keep the lights on. But the truth is that recessions are part of a normal economic cycle. In other words, recessions are necessary evils and here is how to profit from them. Hi, Jared here and today let's talk about the Fed. So we'll see why bad things or events in the markets are not necessarily bad and can be great for us. And then we'll break it down to understand how to profit from it. And first, the Fed rose interest rates again. Great, but I don't care. And here is why. As you may know if you follow the news, the Fed just rose interest rates again by another three quarters of a percentage point or 0.75%. And Powell, the guy we only called to announce interest rate hikes, said that his intentions were to bring down inflation to 2%. So it basically means that the Fed will continue to raise interest rates again and again. And as always, when interest rates go up, people sell and the market goes down. This is a vicious cycle no one can escape. And while lots of people might be afraid and would rather sell as a lot did, I would recommend buying even more. And here are two reasons. First, no one knows how the market is going to react to economic events. Otherwise, this video would have been called How to Run Speculation in 5 Minutes. And the second reason is that I choose stocks that perform well in both bear and bull markets. So when the market goes up, the stock goes up up and when it goes down well the stock still goes up i think we should also learn to make opportunities and seek them in a bear market because many people think that you lose money in a bear market so when the markets are down but that is wrong only if you sell. It is true that your account can lose value, however, if you are able to hold your investments during a bear market, they can regain their previous value and potentially gain even more as the bear market reverses and prices climb back up. And this can be a challenge for many investors. Some people need their funds or fear overcomes the fortitude required to hold positions that are losing value. Okay, so here is the easy way to profit from a down market. Invest in the S&P 500. Why? Because it historically returned around 10% a year. I know it seems like the name of a robot in Terminator coming to kill you, right? But in fact, it is by far the easiest investment to understand and the safest. The S&P 500 is a basket of the 500 biggest US companies. And that basically it. I know. Seems easy, right? And to invest in it, simply take the phone and open your favorite broker, then type in S&P 500 and select one you would like to own. You can see the composition of it. Obviously, Apple is first, because it is the biggest company in the world. And it is followed by Microsoft, Amazon, Tesla, and so on. Then click on buy, and there you are. You become an investor. And here's the hard way to profit from down market. And in fact, it is not that hard. I do it myself. On the other hand, if you are truly interested in the stock market and ready to dive in a bit more, you can select individual stocks that perform well in both bull and bear markets. And here are my tips. And first, make dollar cost averaging your friend. Say the price of a stock in your portfolio slumps 25% from $100 a share to $75 a share. If you have money to invest and want to buy more of the stock, it can be tempting to try to buy when you think the stock's price is has cratered. Problem is, you will likely be wrong. That stock may not have bottomed at $75 a share. Rather, it could tumble 54% or more from its high. This is why trying to buy the zip or time the market is a risky ambition. A safer approach is to regularly add money to the market with a strategy known as dollar cost averaging. Dollar cost averaging is when you continually invest money over time and in roughly equal amounts. And this helps smooth out your purchase price over time, ensuring you don't pour all of your money into the stock at its high while still taking advantage of market dip. There's no doubt that bear markets can be scary, right? But the stock market has proven it will bounce back eventually. And if you shift your perspective, focusing on potential gains rather than potential losses on the long term, bear markets can be a good opportunity to pick up stocks at lower prices. And tip number two, diversify your holdings. Speaking of picking up stocks at lower prices, boosting your portfolio's diversification, so it includes a mix of different assets, is another valuable strategy, bear markets or not. During bear markets, all the companies in a given stock index, such as the S&P 500, generally 
full, but not necessarily by similar amounts. That's why a well diversified portfolio is key. And if you're investing in a mix of relative winners and losers, it helps to minimize your portfolio's overall losses. And I think you should always consider dividend paying stocks, because even if the stock prices aren't going up, many investors still want to get paid in the form of dividends. That is why companies that pay higher than average dividends or already dividends will be appealing to investors during bear market. And in fact, it is highly easy to diversify your portfolio. And if you're not sure if your portfolio is diversified across sectors or not, here is what to do. First, take your phone, laptop, or your pen and make a list of every stock you own. Then go to Wikipedia, the most simple platform in my opinion. Then simply type in your stock, for instance, Apple, and you will see on your right the industry where Apple belongs. And it works as long as the stock exists in Wikipedia and as long as people write it down. And that should not be a problem. If you truly want more detail, simply Google the stock and ask for the industry. And by definition, you know that consumer staples, consumer goods, and consumer discretionary will do well in both bear and bull markets, because people will always buy first need products. And well, try to have between five to 10 different sectors and you'll be good to go. Okay, advice number three, which is by far my favorite invest in the long term. And I know that bear markets and recessions are really difficult to endure, but history shows that you probably won't have to wait too long for the market to recover. And well, good news, if your goal is to invest in the long term, so let's say 5 to 10 years or even for retirement, the bear markets you will endure will be overshadowed by bull market. And keep in mind that the money you need in the short term, let's say even one to two years should stay in your bank accounts. I think that's the best thing they could do for your portfolio. And don't hesitate to tell me which stocks you would buy and why during a period of economic instability and during a recession. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment down below, subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, I will see you in the next one.